हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय इकोनॉमिक्स क्लास एज वी नो ऑल इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द लॉ ऑफ डिमिनिशिंग मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी एंड इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज द कॉर्डिनल यूटिलिटी अप्रोच वाई बिकॉज द लॉ ऑफ डिमिनिशिंग मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी अजूम्स दैट द यूटिलिटी कैन बी मेजर्ड in cardinal numbers like 1 2 3 4 right and that is why it is also called as what the cardinal utility approach and there we have studied the statements of the law and we saw some assumptions of the law of diminishing marginal utility and uh, schedule and the graph which shows the law of diminishing marginal utility and by this we may understood the behavior of the consumer while consuming a particular commodity and now in this class i am going to starting the second and most important approach that is the ordinal utility approach okay then what is ordinal utility approach here it is just opposite of the cardinal utility approach means under the cardinal utility approach we may measure the utility in cardinal numbers like 1 2 3 4 right but what about the ordinal utility approach here means here under ordinal utility approach we cannot measure the utility like 1 2 3 4 but we can compare the utility which is derived by the commodities means we can compare the two commodities to measure the utility in ordinal utility analysis right now in this class we are going to starting the second and most important approach that is the ordinal approach under this approach we are going to studying the two concepts first one is the indifference curve and the second one is indifference map both topics are very important for your examination point of view right and the first one is that is the indifference analysis and now we are going to studying in detail about the indifference curve analysis now let's see the meaning of the indifference curve right what the indifference curve tells us here indifference curve shows the different combinations of two commodities in which consumers gets equal satisfaction okay means here under indifference curve what it shows us here they will show you the different combinations of two commodities and whatever the satisfaction or the utility which are derived by the two different combinations are same or equal okay and this i will explain you in the uh next schedule here first of all listen here indifference curve is also called as iso utility curve right indifference curve is also called as what here iso utility curve now let's see the schedule of indifference curve and by this you may understand the meaning of indifference curve now let's see the schedule here the first column shows you the combination of goods means here there are different combinations of goods like a b c and d okay these are the combination of goods that is bananas and mangoes okay here they uh, have two commodities one is bananas and mangoes okay see so here the second column shows you the bananas and the third one is that is mango okay means listen here the first combination that is combination a has one banana one banana and 15 mangoes okay this is what the first combination now the second combination is combination b in combination b it has two bananas and 12 mangoes right and in combination c how many bananas are there here three bananas and 10 mangoes and in fourth combination that is d it has four bananas and nine mangoes okay means here here total four combinations are arise 
okay but what the indifference curve tells us okay here there are two commodities that is bananas and mangoes and whatever the combinations which are arrived from that combinations we are going to deriving the equal level of satisfaction or the equal utility right this is what the indifference curve understood now what is indifference curve now let's see the meaning of indifference curve here indifference curve shows the different combinations of two commodities okay here there are different combinations okay means here here there are four combinations of two commodities bananas and mangoes in which consumers gets equal satisfaction okay you may choose any one combination from these four combinations whichever the combination you will choose from that you will get the same satisfaction from each combination of the good okay this is what the indifference curve now let's draw a graph of the indifference curve this is what the graph okay this graph shows you the different combinations of two commodities that is bananas and mangoes right now i will draw a graph here this is what the x axis and y axis right here on the o x axis we will measure the bananas and on the o y axis we will measure the mangoes right now tell me how many bananas are there here total four combinations of bananas are available right now we will draw a indifference curve of two commodities and that is providing us the different combinations of bananas and mangoes now let's see the schedule here now tell me how many bananas are there in the first combination that is in combination a okay here we have one banana and 15 mangoes in combination a in the second combination b we have two bananas and 12 mangoes right in the third combination that is combination c we have 10 mangoes and 3 bananas and in the next combination that is combination d we have 9 mangoes and 4 bananas now let's draw the indifference curve like this this is what the combination a combination b combination c and combination d okay this curve is what the indifference curve okay this is what you are the indifference curve you may i c means here the indifference curve understood no what is indifference curve and how the indifference curve is drawn here right now the next one we will look at the conclusion of the indifference curve right from the above table and graph we understood that indifference curve shows different combinations of two commodities that is bananas and mangoes in which consumers get the equal level of satisfaction okay whichever the combination you may choose that is you may choose the combination a 
कॉम्बिनेशन बी कॉम्बिनेशन सी और कॉम्बिनेशन डी बट फ्रॉम ईच कॉम्बिनेशन यू विल गेट द सेम लेवल ऑफ सेटिस्फेक्शन राइट दिस इज वॉट द इन डिफरेंस कर राइट एंड नाउ द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज दैट इज द इन डिफरेंस मैप यस इन डिफरेंस मैप इज द ग्रुप ऑफ इन डिफरेंस कर ओके दिस इज वॉट द सिंगल इन डिफरेंस कर बट वॉट वी विल स्टडी अंडर द इन डिफरेंस मैप हियर हियर द इन डिफरेंस मैप शोज अस द डिफरेंट इन डिफरेंस कर ओके मीन्स हियर इट विल शोज और इट गिवज अस ग्रुप ऑफ इन डिफरेंस कर Now let's see the meaning of indifference map. It is a set of indifference curves of two commodities shows different levels of satisfaction is called indifference map. Is called what? The indifference map means indifference map means what here? It is a set of indifference curve. It is a set of indifference curves of two commodities here also there are two commodities shows different levels of satisfaction okay indifference curve shows as what two commodities giving us the same level of satisfaction but in indifference map it shows two commodities shows different levels of satisfaction this is what the same level of satisfaction and indifference map is different level of satisfaction right this is what the indifference map now let's see the graph which shows the indifference map this is what the indifference map graph on the ox axis we may measured the good x or you may also call it as bananas and on the oy axis we have measured good y means the mangoes right and that curve shows you the different or the set of indifference curves this is a single indifference curve and indifference map means a set of indifference curve or a group of indifference curve here i will show you the indifference map here this is what the ox axis and that one is oy axis okay here we will measure the bananas or you may also take it as good x and good y here i will take the mangoes right what i told you indifference map it is a set of indifference curves like this this is what here it shows us different indifference curves like i c means what here indifference curve one indifference curve two indifference curve Three and so on. Again, it will may show us different again different indifference curves. Okay, this is what the indifference map. Now let's see some important uh, things regarding the indifference map. Okay, I C one is a lower indifference curve. and ic3 is the higher indifference curve here i shown you three indifference curves in under which map here indifference map now let's see here what i told you it shows us different indifference curve and each indifference curve gives us different levels of satisfaction right means ic1 gives us lesser satisfaction than ic2 right ic2 gives us again lesser satisfaction than ic3 
means here the lower indifference curve that is ic1 gives us lower level of satisfaction and the higher indifference curve that is ic3 gives us the higher level of satisfaction right understood no what is indifference map here now see here in the indifference map it should be clearly understood that a higher indifference curve which one is the higher indifference curve here ic3 gives higher level of satisfaction and the lower indifference curve which one is the lower indifference curve that is ic1 gives lower level of satisfaction understood now listen here consumer always chooses a higher indifference curve why why the consumer will chooses the higher indifference curve because the higher indifference curve gives us a higher level of satisfaction as we know all always a consumer chooses that commodity from that he may get the higher satisfaction that is why the consumers always chooses a higher indifference curve to get higher level of satisfaction understood now let's see the conclusion for the indifference map from the above diagram we understood that a consumer always prefers a commodity which gives him higher level of satisfaction so it is called monotonic preference okay then what is monotonic preference here always a consumer means a consumer always prefers the commodity which gives him higher level of satisfaction not the lower level of satisfaction that may be any consumer they wants only high level of satisfaction from the commodities or from the goods and services and this process is called the monotonic preference right this is what all about the indifference curve and indifference map okay these two concepts we were studied under the ordinal utility approach right and now in the next class i am going to starting the second and most important topic of your